I'm Dr. Dan from Vitamin Pro, and we're talking a little bit today about uh, cholesterol and a product that we sell here called Cholesterol. Uh, Cholesterol is a red yeast rice product, and but first a little bit of background about about cholesterol. Um, you know, so much has been written about it. I think just about everybody, every adult in the country, must know something about it, or at least uh, be familiar. Familiar. So when you go to your doctor and they do a blood test and they go, oh yeah, by the way, you've got this uh, high cholesterol, so we're going to put you on uh, something called Lipitor or Crestor or something. But um, the literalist in me first has to, to mention that you never measure cholesterol directly in your blood. So when, when anybody says your cholesterol is high, um, we're assuming that it's high based on these, these lipids. Because basically, you know, we don't really measure uh, traffic by what's in the trucks. We measure the trucks. And so the same thing is true in, in our blood. Uh, we assume that these um, high HDL, LDL, uh, VLDL, that these are, uh, these are the transport mechanisms for cholesterol in your bloodstream. And so when we, we actually are measuring those lipids, not the cholesterol directly. So if someone says your HDL cholesterol is high, you know they're talking about the HDL cholesterol complex, at least that's what we're assuming. And so if your HDL plus your LDL plus your VLDL, if those are exceeding that certain level, which is you know about 200 in today's, um, today's lab reports, then we can assume that your, your uh, cholesterol, you know, in, quote, in quotes there, is too high. So anyway, I got that out of the way. Now one other thing, uh, sometimes we see people come in with um, a level that's too low and because we like to see it around 180 but sometimes you see people that are on a Lipitor or something like that and their levels are actually uh, closer to 120. Now that's dangerous. Your brain needs cholesterol to live and to do its function so you know too low is just as bad as too high in my book. So. Um, but so let's say that uh, the, you know your cholesterol levels really are too high to be a healthy person. So what are you going to do about that? And of course, in your medical doctor's office, they're going to put you on one of these uh, cholesterol-lowering drugs and call it a day. So the problem with that is that if you do a little bit of reading about the the negative effects of these these drugs, uh, the list is, is actually too long and they've added things like cognitive decline to that, but also we've seen this. You know, it's not some hypothetical thing. Um, you know, muscle pain, uh, neuropathy, which means nerve pain, uh, we, we've seen this. So uh, don't assume that these are really safe drugs and that you can take them with, uh, without any uh, bad effects. So again, what do you do? So it's important, of course, to keep your your blood lipids at a healthy level and we like to take some natural steps. And of course diet, that's a long story, we're not going to go into great detail about it, but I will mention that in some cases we've seen that intermittent fasting, and you need to do some research on that because this is not a video about that, I just want to mention it. Intermittent fasting, uh, which means that you eat all your meals during um, maybe an 8 to 10 hour period every day and that's it. Um, and the rest of the time you're in, in a true fast. So we've seen that drive these numbers down very significantly. And you know, of course, uh, keeping your your um, you know your sugars under control and that sort of thing. And they're they're again, it's a long story. We won't go into it on this, but you need to do some research on that. But let's say you're doing all that, but you're not quite getting what the results you want. Uh, you can add something like a red yeast rice product, which has been shown over many, many uh, millennia to actually have healthy, uh, healthy liver and lipid benefits. So the, the product that we're recommending right now, is red yeast rice product, is, is called Ascenix, and it's got um, a, you know, the red yeast rice product, plus it's got some other, uh, other things in there that will help your, your body process that better. Uh, one thing is it's got some CoQ10, it's got some chromium, and there are other ingredients that, that sh you should find uh, helpful. So, how much you take? Well, we recommend starting with, um, you know, one or two a day. You know, you can space those out or take them together, it doesn't matter. 
Um, also, you might find that you need to take even, you know, two to six a day. So, uh, maybe you need to bump that up. You know, but the only way you're going to know is to monitor your, your blood levels, you know, with a blood test. Because you can't really tell by how you feel on this stuff. Not until it's way, 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 way too late. So, another product that we're recommending, you know, talking about cardiovascular health, is pure encapsulations. And I'll just mention this. Um, nitric oxide, and some people say nitric oxide, same thing. Uh, NO support would be another way of putting it. Um, so anyway, we like, we like that. Um, but that, again, another topic, but I do want to mention it because we find that cardiovascular health is a combination of factors. You're not just going to add one thing and, and uh, get this magical result. You're going to have to hit it from several different levels. But one of the products that we do like and that we do recommend repeatedly with uh, good feedback and with, you know, feedback means that we see that the numbers change on your blood test and that is that cholesterol So anyway, that's a better genetics product. You'll find it on our website and it can be a, a, a very helpful thing to, uh, to improve your overall cardiovascular health and of course uh, keep your, um, your heart and brain ticking that much longer. Anyway, uh, that's the, the basics on that. That's why we recommend it. And we're happy we, that you listened to this. And so thanks a lot. Hopefully that was helpful.